really, really useful. I can move it around as well. I can put it here, put it there, move this over here, and back to this original place. So, hey guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you. I am Abdul. Today, I'm going to be making a screwdriver holder French cleat style. If you've not watched the other videos on my French cleat style garage storage, please watch them. And today, I'm going to be doing the screwdriver holder. So, what I've done first is collected all my garbage ones and I'm going to throw them in the bin. So, once you've got all of your screwdrivers, put them out and split them up. And what you want to do is split them up by the circumference. What I'm going to do, take this measurement, that looks like a six mil to me. So I'm going to put all my six mils aside together, couple them together, and then I'm going to couple my eight mils together. Uh, that one was there uh, like an eight mil, you just get the tape measure, get a rough estimate. I'd say that's an eight mil. And then I'd get my bigger ones, all my big ones, couple them together like I have here. And then I put them together, get the measurements. That's about, say, 10 mil. I know I'm going to be using a 10, 10 mil drill bit on these and the outside will go and sit on there nicely. So I've got a piece of wood here, ply, plywood, and now what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be marking them all out. Just straightened out my um, plywood here. What I'm going to be doing now is marking up and see I've got space for 50, 54. So um, by here, I got 26, so I'm just going to divide that and make some lines. So I'm thinking I'm going to put 10 across here and 5 here. 8, 12, 15, 20. So we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 in here. So I'm just going to be doing the same here and start drilling through all of these. What I'm going to be doing is having my big one at the back smaller size and then go smaller from there so i could get 60 screwdriver on this i may not have 60 now but i could still uh, continue to, to use it when i get some new ones i'm on another break but i'm going to be also putting on picks on here so my top section are going to be the bigger size and then it's going to go down smaller so i'm going to start with a 10 mil 10 mil drill bit might have to be a 22. Yep. Get away with a 10 mil. So what we might have to do is mark them as we go along. So you, it's going to be varying from 8 mil, 19 mil, and then some you may need a 22 mil, some you may need to have a little jigsaw cut out also. Switching it up to a 6mm, so my smaller ones are going to come on this side here. For my middle section, I'm going to be doing it with a 8mm drill bit. Get my back plate, place it on there. Now we're just going to put a French cleat on here and my screwdriver holder's ready. Come on, put it here. Put it here. Put it there. I can put it here. 
in there. I'm going to put it here for now. Let's put our screwdrivers on. Start with all the big ones. Hey guys, thanks for joining me again on my easy build for this screwdriver holder for garage style. So it's very sturdy. I got all my picks on there, all the screwdrivers. Something that is just wants in your face and not hidden away. So it's really, really useful. I can move it around as well. I can put it here. I can put it there. Move this over here. I'm back to this original place so thank you guys for watching please go ahead and watch the other videos I've also made about how to make a hammer chisel stands for this French cleat style spanners axle stands um, grips thank you guys for watching please like and subscribe see you again